Hello and welcome everyone. In this video I want to get into syncing your Obsidian Vault and the files within it with OneDrive. So if you have an Obsidian Vault and you want to sync your files and directories, there's a few options that you can use. Uh, one that I use right now is OneDrive. I store my vault in my OneDrive directory. I have a folder called Obsidian and then I put my vaults in there. This one is one of the dummy vaults here and I want to walk through um, some of the, the the things you'll you'll find with at least OneDrive. I haven't tried Dropbox or any of the other uh, file syncing solutions that are out there. So OneDrive is Microsoft's file uh, syncing solution and it works pretty well. I use it uh, we use it at our business and I use it for personal means to sync files between my Mac and Windows devices as well as any any mobile devices that I have. So I want to get into showing some of the ins and outs here. I have first off this, this one vault. It's on the OneDrive directory and right now it's syncing to their cloud service. So one good thing here is that if I want to have access to any of these files which are typically stored local, which is one of the benefits of Obsidian, you don't have to worry about someone else um, having access to your files. You have full control of where you store your files and who can access them. So if we go into OneDrive, I have the folder directory shown here. OneDrive. Uh, has synced all the data to the cloud, which means one, I can access them from a browser um, if I don't have any access uh, from my machine, right, my laptop or a device that I own. I can get to these files from a browser and they, these will sync to any other machine that I have access to and I've configured uh, this, you know, syncing process. One thing to note, if you're syncing between multiple devices that and well, if you're syncing between multiple devices and you're also opening up the app on both devices and accessing the, the vaults at the same time, you do get some conflicts uh, within the files, but the conflicts are only with files that are locked and from my experience, the only files that have been locked have been files that are uh, more configuration files that Obsidian uses when you open up the app and that Obsidian actually changes, not the files that you access um, within your vault. And the way Microsoft and handles those with OneDrive is that they, they will add the name of the actual device to the file. So this is one thing you could run into um, this will happen on the cache and on the config file, I've noticed. So this here is, I just recently did this today just to show this as an example. But I have an older directory where you can see that this could really get out of control. <laughs> so I have my Surface in here, uh, Windows device, my Mac, and it doesn't just create one file for each. You can see that the, these file conflicts created multiple files over and over within this directory. So if you're going to use this particular method and probably the other syncing methods uh, will hold true to this as well, you do want to make sure that you're closing the the app if you're if you're using it on multiple devices. But even with that said, I have not had any issues with these multiple uh, files being created out of the conflicts within the app application or the client, the Obsidian client. So you probably won't notice this if it is happening, but just in case, this is something again that you, you want to make sure you're closing the application on one particular machine before you open it on another. And if you do get this particular scenario, what I've done is just delete all the additional files that were created, which are named as such, just to get back to the default files. 
and then open up the application once those are cleaned out. You see I put in an old folder just in case there was something that happened. I can always go back to these. Another benefit that I get with OneDrive, um, I mentioned it already, is that I can access the files from the web um, and also the device. And they also give me the capability to, one, not only edit the file, but also provide version history on the files. So if I wanted to restore something previous that I've changed before, it does not come out, out of the box uh, from Obsidian, at least not now. They're looking to provide that as a service later, but you can still get this benefit from uh, potentially your file syncing solution. And with OneDrive, they do offer that uh, capability. Okay, well, that was it. I really wanted this to be a short video to go through this. If you have any questions, let me know. And if I have the answers or if I can test something, I'll provide the answer. If not, uh, post anything in the comment and hopefully someone in the community can answer. And also, uh, Obsidian does have a Discord channel that you can join as well if you have any questions about Obsidian and, and you're having any issues. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and have a nice day.